Hi, Bobcat fans. We're here. Hallsville Coaches Conference. Guy Walker and myself. This segment sponsored by Roof Masters and your local Hallsville Sonic. Today, we are here with the real Coach Wiley, Kayla coach. Wiley. Coach Wiley, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. And the last time we got to visit with you, Coach, was during the, the, the midst of the softball, softball playoff run. And such a crazy time. Guys even got his softball shirt on. <laughs> But that's not why we're here today. Today we're talking about cross country. Coach, and we, I've got a lot of questions before we go, but how, how has the cross country season been so far? It's been great. It's been really, really awesome. I mean, uh, I don't know if we want me to talk about it now. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we've got uh, the girls team going to state as a team for the first time since the program was started. Um, they've been one of their time, like around that first time. Uh, and then we have one boy, and I don't know how long it's been, but it, since Coach Duncan and I have been here, we haven't had a boy go to state. And so we have one boy, Sam. Uh, he's going to state as well. So it's a pretty awesome opportunity. As a team coach, how does a girls team qualify for cross country to go to state? How do you qualify? Is it a certain average of times? How do you how do you get there? Um, so in district, you have your top three teams get to go and then the top 10 runners. So if you're on a team um, that makes it and you're one of the top 10 runners, you do count. So um, I think five of our girls were in that top 10 spot. So only five other kids from the district got to go. Uh, but for regionals, they do where uh, the top four teams go and then the top 10 individuals who are not a part of a team get to go. So at state, there'll be 16 teams and 40 individuals. Um, that get to run, and so that's how that process works. So, so name our name our top runners that are that are going to lead the Bobcat way. Um, we have uh, Avery Perkins, okay, and then Aston Hatchet, Carolyn Hell, Lily Soto, uh, Lauren Thompson has been a huge part of that, but she is injured, so she's not going to be running with us at state, unfortunately. Uh, and then we have Kylie Hatfield. Those are our top five, six runners that we have right now. So. What kind of times are they running to get us to where we are right now? Um, Avery's running in the 1830s to 19s, uh, and then you have that average of probably about a 1920 to the 20s, so in there. Do you run with them, Coach, in the morning? Do you get out and run with them the, the 5K? I'll sit her out there no. running, and she's leading the pack. No. Lead the pack. I was going, are we in the 18-minute game? I'm using my bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so at any point, is it like in the movies where you are in the golf cart behind them, like throw, throwing stuff at them, telling them to hurry oh, up? Yes. Right. I'm always like, come on, let's go. And they're like, you're on a bike. <laughs> It would is the and again I, I correlate it because the last time we did speak to you it was softball season. What is the biggest difference as a coach in preparation, everything else between softball and cross country on the way you handle athletes, approach the athletes, and get everything going? Um, honestly, it's night and day. Uh, I laugh because I always talk to Coach Duncan. And I'm like, if this was softball, <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be. But uh, no, these kids they work so hard. Um, they're very self driven. And so the ones who are at the top and the ones who are competing at this level, you really don't have to, you have an expectation for them and you have a plan for them that they follow, but they really go and they achieve these things and they push their bodies to limits that, I mean, I never imagined. And so um, that's just something that, I mean, also they have like a third long, I don't know, right. but um, the, I mean, they can just do things and they push themselves um, extremely hard. So I got a question. In softball, when they mess up, you run them. What do you do to them in, uh, in yeah. cross country? Do you make them walk or do you make them? This What's year the they did they? Uh, plate pushes. Oh. And we also do head rolls. And so, yes, it's hard to make a runner run for yeah. discipline. Yeah. So when is the state meet take place? Uh, on Friday the 5th at 11.30 is when the girls run and at 12.10 is when the boys run. Where are they so running at? Know, they run in uh, Round Rock. Okay. So, um, is there like a trail the specific that the state runners get to run at? Yes, it's well, it's right there um, by uh, the baseball field and all that kind right. of stuff. Yeah, so we're there. right there, yeah, in that area, and it's the same course. And uh, Carolyn Hill has been to it two years as a freshman and sophomore. So we've had the individual go, but we've never had a team go on the girls' side. So that's the part that makes it a lot different this year. Awesome. And Coach, thank you for joining us. I'm sure we'll have you again throughout the year. do want to say, uh, the, again, next Friday, pass the bucket. Student Council in the stands, guys. Thank you all for joining us. Roofmaster Sonic, we'll see you next time.